Hello guys, well I just want to do um, a hardy update, well, talking about him, yeah, an update on him, well, yeah, sorry, I got kind of took a shower, because I was itching, so I took a shower, but moving on, um, my camera's gone funny, so everything looks pinky, please excuse that, I've got to sort it out later, well, I can now trot, commander trot and commander canter with Harley um, on the ground. I can say trot and he trots. I can jog and trot next to him and he does it. I can say canter and he, and he canters. Which is, I couldn't do that last year and Harley and me, our bond is more stronger than this year, than last year. Does the last year, last year, last September we got him? Yeah. And it's better now because last year he was totally ignoring me. Yeah, sure, he'll come and see me sometimes, but then he would totally ignore me the next. He's so matured a little, and yesterday, um, I was coming up to the, the area of the field can say um nurture friends they're strict grazing that's how they call it um hardly like snorted at me in their way when they snort it's mean they're trying to tell you that hello how are you and i answered back and then he did sort of did run around and he looked and he kept going to the fence since I know Harley can jump, I've seen him jump plenty of times at fence. I was thinking, don't jump, don't jump, just wait until I get there. You see, doesn't do that. I like that, but every morning I get snorts from him. And he can't wait for me to come down anymore. He's like, he can't wait for a training session, he can't. Which, I'm thinking about sitting on him soon. Having a first sip. On him, on the first mount, wherever, sit on and then get off and do that many times. I don't mind. Because I sat on him four times last year, but they were gaps, gaps apart. I sat him one time with the saddle on and I fall off. Because that saddle was really unfitting, it was uncomfortable for him, which I found out that now. And after that, he had a fear of the saddle. He did not like one a saddle near him. Which I've got a new saddle now, and he had had a saddle on before, before I got a new one, which I'm hoping to try a new one on sometime. And yeah, he doesn't fit a pony bridle anymore, so we got a new bridle now for him. He looks size. Um, what else can I go on about? Yeah. Well. If any of you want me to do a video or a talk on, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. I might not be able to fit it in because maybe the video might be too long or something like that, but I'll try and see what I can do for you. Please subscribe to me, please like and comment and let me know what you think of my videos, where they need something else or you want me to go on about something else. Just tell me and I'll see what I can do. Um, my birthday on next Friday. Yeah, sixteen. Just, I don't want to be sixteen. I really don't. But yeah, I'll be looking into going into college in September. Get my application done. Cause um, a care worker. Um. It's gonna help me with that and we can go and look around and we can have a day where I just have a day there, a couple of hours there, and join you with some lessons and stuff. The thing that I wanna do. I wanna work with equines, which is horses. Um I wanna be a riding instructor. Cause um I learned in Newton Ooth one time on for work experience for one Saturday. And they Put me on the, they put me on a horse called Jasper. He's 
so handsome. He's um, a bit like Merlin, but taller. He's about 15 hands, which he's very graceful and he's very well mannered and he doesn't yeah miss the wrong move um and i rode him and they told me that since i was like i was joining him with, a, with one lesson and i was um there was small people on the horses but i was on the ground and i was helping a ride instructor and the riding instructor told me there was a girl that was doing trotting and trotting over poles, more jumps, I should say. And she told me that, what is she doing wrong? And I told them what, what she's doing wrong. And funny enough, I was right. And they told me that when I'm 18, I can do a ride instructor at, the, at, the, at their place. And... Um, she told me that I can, I will be really good at being a ride instructor because I can analyse people, what they're doing wrong or what the horse is doing wrong and I can try and find ways to help the horse or the pony or the rider out, do what suits and um, so I want to be a ride instructor, I really do, um, when I was 12 I want to be a vet. But now that I have that thing, I really want to become a ride instructor, so I'm going to look into doing my ride instructor course when I'm 18. And once I'm finished that, I'm going to be going taking a course at college, if I'm looking into it in the future. A business, equine business course. Because I can start my own livery or riding school, and I got a business for it. Um, I like to do that, but, and then later on, maybe three years down the line or two years down the line, I want to start Heidi's career off as a show jumper or cross country or endurance. He likes, Heidi likes going fast, so I'll be going fast before I go slow. I'll probably be going slow when he's retired, but then again, I'll probably be going fast anyway. Um, well, I don't mind because I like going fast too. I love going fast for rides. At the theme park, I've always gone fast once. I just like them. They give the courage and, yeah. What am I doing? Joining in this in my part two video on my new talk. Bye. Please watch part two.